This is the Music History Today podcast for July 16th. On today's show, Michael Jackson does a private concert, Cream is born, and a couple of artists call it quits with their groups. First up, though, on this date in 1955, the musical attraction The Golden Horseshoe Review opened at Disneyland in Anaheim, California, starting a trend of every amusement park having a musical attraction that wasn't a ride. In 1959, the Coasters recorded the song Poison Ivy. In 1962, the Beach Boys signed their record contract with Capitol Records. In 1964, Connie Smith recorded the song Once a Day. In 1966, the supergroup Cream was formed. In 1967, Arlo Guthrie performed his song Alice's Restaurant at the Newport Folk Festival. In 1972, Smokey Robinson played his last concert with the Miracles. In 1974, Alan Osmond of the Osmond Brothers married his wife Suzanne Pinnegar. In 1976, the duo of Kenny Loggins and Jim Messina broke up. Kenny Loggins went on to have an extremely successful solo career. In 1980, Donna Summer married music arranger Bruce Sudano. In 1982, Peter Gabriel kicked off his World of Music, Arts, and Dance Festival. In 1990, Judas Priest went on trial after they were accused of putting subliminal messages into their song, Better By You, Better Than Me, which led to two teenagers to commit suicide. The case was finally thrown out almost two months later. In 1995, Wayne Osmond had an operation to remove a brain tumor. In 1996, Michael Jackson gave a private concert to the Sultan of Brunei for his birthday party. He was paid $15 million for it. In 2004, Will Smith's movie, I, Robot, premiered in movie theaters. In 2008, Billy Joel played the first of his two shows at Shea Stadium in New York City as the stadium was closing and was being torn down later in the year. In 2009, Noah and the Whale premiered their movie, The First Days of Spring, at the Latitude Festival in Suffolk, England. In 2010, Phil Collin of Def Leppard married costume designer Helen L. Simmons. In 2012, Katy Perry divorced comedian Russell Brand. In 2018, the film musical Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again premiered in London, England. In 2020, the movie musical Into the Beat premiered. In 2021, the TV musical series Schmigadoon premiered. And in 2022, Jennifer Lopez married actor and director Ben Affleck. In classical music, in 1782, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart premiered his piece, The Abduction from the Seraglio. In theater, in 1966, the musical Half a Sixpence closed on Broadway, and in 1994, the Broadway show Sisters Rosenzweig closed. Albums that were released on July 16th in the UK include in 1971 when Gentle Giant released Acquiring the Taste and in 1984 when Chardet released Diamond Life. Meanwhile in America, in 1973 Elvis Presley released Elvis the Fool album. In 1974, Neil Young released On the Beach. In 1976, the band released The Best of the Band. In 1979, Earth, Wind & Fire released I Am. In 1980, Rick James released Garden of Love. In 1981, the Beach Boys released Rare Early Recordings. In 1982, Warren Zevon released The Envoy. In 1990, Curtis Mayfield released Take It to the Streets. In 1991, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band released Live 2-5. In 2000, Persuader released The Hunter. In 2002, Simon and Garfunkel released Live from New York City, 1967. New Order released Before and After the BBC Sessions. And the Dave Matthews Band released Busted Stuff. In 2007, Motorhead released Better Motorhead Than Dead, live at Hammersmith. In 2012, Elton John with Panow released Good Morning to the Night. And in 2014, Yes released Heaven and Earth. Singles that were released in the UK on July 16th include in 1965 when Sonny and Cher released I Got You Babe and The Righteous Brothers released Unchained Melody. 
1976, the Bee Gees released You Should Be Dancing. In 1991, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch with Lolita Holloway released Good Vibrations. And in 2001, David Gray released Sail Away. Meanwhile, in America in 1965, The Supremes released Nothing But Heartaches. In 1968, The Temptations released Please Return Your Love to Me. In 1973, Elton John released Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. In 1981, Electric Light Orchestra, or ELO, released Hold On Tight. In 1982, Depeche Mode released See You. And in 2021, Dead Mouse and the Lights released When the Summer Dies. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 16th include entertainer extraordinaire Miss Ginger Rogers, Ed Kowalsik of Live, Stuart Copeland of The Police, Desmond Decker of The Aces, singer Denise LaSalle, Thomas Boggs of the Box Tops, jazz pianist Nat Pierce, Tony Jackson of the Searchers, singer Mindy Carson, jazz musician Cal Jadair, singer Luke Hemmings of Five Seconds of Summer, singer James Maslow of Big Time Rush, singer Wizkid, rapper Fly Soldier, rapper Kevin Abstract, singer Chukwanda Equiani. Singer Maher Zayn, rapper Keaton Stromberg of Emblem 3, rapper Zaylin McCall, singer Emma Louise, Soli McElroy of the Flamingos, singer and actor Ruben Blades, Alan Fitzgerald of Montrose, and also of the group Night Ranger, Jeremy Ennick of Sunny Day Real Estate, trumpet player John Chilton, and bassist Ralph Escudero. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 16th include composer Christoph Kaldenbach, who passed away in 1698 at the age of 84. Composer Johann Heinchen passed away in 1729 at the age of 46. Flute player and composer Jacques Hodateri passed away in 1762 at the age of 87. Composer Louis Dauprat passed away in 1868 at the age of 87. Composer Philipp Schwarzwinka passed away in 1917 at the age of 70. Composer Giorgio Nataletti passed away in 1972 at the age of 65. Composer Max Zender passed away in 1972 at the age of 70. Opera singer Alfred Deller passed away in 1979 at the age of 66. Singer-songwriter extraordinaire Mr. Harry Chapin passed away in an auto accident in 1981 at the age of 38. Singer Billy Williams of the TV show Your Show of Shows passed away in 1984 at the age of 73. The man nicknamed the Waltz King, band leader and saxophonist Wayne King, passed away in 1985 at the age of 84. Composer Robert Chavon passed away in 1985 at the age of 91. The conductor of the Berlin Philharmonic from 1955 to 1989. Herbert von Karajan passed away in 1989 at the age of 81. Composer Sidney Torch passed away in 1990 at the age of 81. Conductor Charles Brooke passed away in 1995 at the age of 83. Drummer John Panazzo of Styx passed away from cirrhosis of the liver in 1996 at the age of 47. Singer Hiromi Yanagihara of the J-pop group Country Museum passed away in an auto accident in 1999 at the age of 20. The Queen of Salsa, singer Celia Cruz, passed away in 2003 at the age of 77. Entertainer Camillo Felgen 
passed away in 2005 at the age of 85. Orchestra leader Blue Baron passed away in 2005 at the age of 91. Singer and music director Artie Melvin passed away in 2006 at the age of 83. Singer Joe Stafford passed away in 2008 at the age of 90. Keyboardist John Lord of Deep Purple and also the group Whitesnake passed away in 2012 at the age of 71. Country music singer Kitty Wells passed away in 2012 at the age of 92. Bassist Bob Babbitt of Motown session band The Funk Brothers passed away in 2012 at the age of 74. Blues guitarist Johnny Winter passed away in 2014 at the age of 70. Country music singer Bonnie Brown of the group The Browns passed away in 2016 at the age of 77. Singer Alan Vega of the band Suicide passed away in 2016 at the age of 78. Session drummer Jamie Oldeker passed away in 2020 at the age of 68. The clown prince of hip-hop and who was also on the kids show Yo Gabba Gabba, rapper Biz Marquee passed away in 2021 at the age of 57. Pianist Thomas Rajna passed away in 2021 at the age of 92. And singer and fashion icon Jane Birkin passed away in 2023 at the age of 76. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 17th when, in 1959, the world loses Billie Holiday. Thank you very, very much for listening if you're listening on the podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching.